This episode of Chuffed Adventures is jam-packed with Salem, a bunch of fishing, and an interview with an old sea dog. After spending three beautiful days at the southern anchorage of Isla Viveros, we were off for Isla Bayoneta, another secluded group of islands only five nautical miles away. We knew the quick and easy option would be to lift anchor and motor on over, but we wanted to test our skills and Joanna's before her bigger journey to Colombia. Captain Maria gave orders that we'd lift anchor off the sail and proceed with tacking manoeuvres to Isla Bayoneta. It turns out the old sea dog missed the alarm and came up on deck to an empty anchorage. Oops. But never mind, he caught up pretty quick. With the sails up and sheets tight, we began the journey. With no schedule, we were able to play with the sails and have some fun and some lessons from Captain Maria. Here, so. We've come down, tacked, come down. We're tacking again and trying to get up to here. way off in the distance you reckon? <laughs> We're going a little slow now. A 
I decided to climb Joanna's mast, which involves climbing a rope ladder 60 odd feet up with no harness on a moving swaying vessel. It was scary, but worth it for the amazing views. We were second into the anchorage after Mike on easy, who just speeds along in his boat. Nika and Barry followed up the rear, but we all had a really good time slow sailing. Here they come. Almost here. We've got a fishing trip. <laughs> if we can start the engine. <laughs> Having a party? Oh yeah, I hear it. It's okay. Oh yeah. Crocodile needle fish like last time. He's hyper. Can you get it out, buddy? Give it a sec. Okay, we can get that one out. Watch your hand. I can't believe we've caught another one of those. Okay, wait. I guess that's like. That's fine. That's fine. It's just. Really Watch your hand there. Bye bye. Go Woo! away. Tell your friends to stop eating our lures. Stop eating our lure. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> you look at the tip and you know, like, what the. Lure's doing kind of thing. I guess those needlefish are kind of common. They're they're freaking predators. Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, uh, what's that? What's that? Is it an egret? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's an egret. It's either a really big fish or a rock. That's not a 
Is it? Yeah, Pago! Yeah! Nice one, Simon! Nice! Awesome! Yeah, let's get another one! Yes, please! He's on again! That's a Napa chain! Fishing sad! I felt it like I think he, he was playing with it for a little while. Like, Snap a man! Snappy, snappy, Simon! Snappy, snappy, Simon! <laughs> he might not like these. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a good one, Simon! Oh, yeah! Oh, my oh, God! Yeah. Yeah. It might be a good uh, one, but. Oh, it's not, it's another one! Oh. Another snappy, snappy! <laughs> Watch that. Snappy, snappy, Simon! Happy family gypsy flea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think boat jobs are pretty much done. Maria's just finishing up the portholes. And I'm going to head to shore with the drone and get a little bit of footage to show you guys this island. I sillily brought all the charging equipment but forgot the fact that my drone charges from Australia, like a tra Australian charging port which of course we don't have here. So I um, haven't been able to charge it, so it's gonna be a quick flight, but hopefully I can get some cool footage for you guys. And then later today, I'm gonna to try to catch up with um, Barry from Adventures of an Old Sea Dog, and we can find out what his plans are and a few things like that too. All right, let's go to shore. It is so hot right now, I definitely need to go for a swim. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> now that we've swam we can, I'll show you the island a little bit but this is um, one of the many deserted or uninhabited islands of Las Perlas so we basically have it all to ourselves and I think at the moment I am the only person on the island which is kind of a fun thing to to do I think
So I've paddled up just around the corner from the boat. So we'll round these rocks and we'll see all the boats. <laughs> there they are. Oh, well, there's white shadow at least. We've got white shadow, Easy and Joanna out in the deeper part of the bay. And then little Carl snuck up here with his twin keels and shallow draft, he was able to get way in. We've got Maria, Simon and Nancy, I think, coming for a visit. Our island's getting ever more populated. Mike is going to join us from Easy. And we'll have five people on the island. It took like four days before we oh, went Come on out, friend. Thing, oh. Usually that works. Maybe only on the little ones. <laughs> it's very pretty. Madagascar, and we had the, this boat filling up this, the ship, and we we're right next to a molasses factory. Yeah. And the cars would drive by at night, and all you heard was that. It was thousands of cockroaches being run over. Oh! <laughs> well, you've ruined that sound for us, Homer. <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> Why is all the good things under the poison tree? Oh, a little swing. <laughs> After an arvo of playing in the sun, I was off to visit Barry on White Shadow. And how long have you been on board? Two years? Uh, year three. Oh, that's very I've been cool. three years on board. So yeah, um, I bought the boat in Portugal. Yeah. And then um, uh, went back to England and then set off on this trip. We were wow. two years ago now on this, so yeah. over three years. Mm. <laughs> and solo the whole way? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, nobody else will come with me because I'm such a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, solo. Um, yeah, a mate of mine did the first 24 miles with me. You know? Yeah, just to get used to it. And I'm just here by myself. So it, it's about, because the boat is good for one person, any more than one, and then it's getting crowded. Yeah, you yeah. You know, um, if there's a couple sharing a cabin together, that's okay. There is a back cabin, but it's full of stuff just for the long trip. Yeah, mine's like obviously. that too. Yeah. Um, I was just jam packed in there. There is order to it, it doesn't look it. <laughs> and I've been moving stuff about because I'm trying to find things and it's yeah. like in the back and I can take it all out. Yeah. Organized chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Barry. We are on board White Shadow with Adventures of an Old Sea Dog, which I'm sure many of you probably know and follow. So it's basically a Shady on Shaddy. Yeah. <laughs> It's good to see you. Yeah, it's Welcome good to aboard. be here. And we've been buddy boating with Nika and Maria on Carl. Well, Nika on Carl and Maria on SV Joanna and Mike on Easy. So we've got four boats with yeah. us at the moment. Yeah, four boats. So it's a fleet. Yeah, the Gypsy Fleet, as it's been called. Yeah, it's been uh, a lot of fun. Gypsy spelled S E A at the end. Uh, yes, I so, like that. Yeah, I know. It's great. <laughs> And so what are your uh, big plans? Why are you here and where are you going? Well, I'm actually off, uh, depending when you put this out. Um, I'm, I'm on my way to uh, the Pacific at the moment. I've been here in Panama for quite some time, as my viewers will know. And, uh, uh, and I'm basically waiting for the weather. I've been spent four days cleaning the hull, uh, getting barnacles off the boat. And I'm all fueled up and watered up and just waiting to go. Excellent. And yeah, it's been a bit of hard work, I guess, doing yeah, the, um, I mean, it's, <laughs> the it's, bottom it's, job. But. It, yeah, it's really hard work. Um, it's been a long time since I've been out of the water. It wasn't it's not as bad as it could have been, but it was still hard work. Um, but because the distance is so great, I'm doing 4,000 nautical miles yeah. by myself. And uh, if, if your barnacles and the stuff on the bottom of the boat slow you down, even half a knot, 
that that every day over a period of 50 days, which the trip will be, is, it amounts to quite an, an extra amount of time. Yeah, definitely. It'll, it'll take to cross. So. And are you excited, scared, all of the above? Or? Yeah, all of the above, really. Um, I kind of get trying to get my head around it. It's, it's a huge thing. Um, I, I did the Atlantic, was the other big one I did. And that, I, I'd never done anything like that before, so I... Uh, I, it, it seemed a different thing to this. This is this is huge. It's yeah, a massive trip, and I keep thinking I sh I've got to do more. But um, I think I've done everything I can in, in a way of prep. Yeah. And uh, I think I'm, I'm well prepared for everything. Um, so I just have to go now. But it's getting my head around it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a mental game sometimes, isn't yeah, it? Well, <laughs> As well. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. 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 Well, I appreciate you having me on board. It's been nice to see the boat. That's and, quite um, right. I'm sure everyone will be very excited to see you on my channel as well. <laughs> yeah, no, great. It's, it's, it's nice to have these little get-togethers. Yeah, uh, definitely. And sort of compare what people are doing and things. So, uh, yeah, I'll maybe see you out there. Yes, definitely. Oh, that's a big snapper, Simon. Is he really going on the snap? I can't tell. He's got to land it now. It's a dog it's snapper. A snapper. Oh, hold on. Bring her over the Oh, yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> Sir snaps a lot. Okay. Strikes uh, again. What do you need? Snap. Once again, dinner is sorted. Thank you, Ocean. Thank you, Jojo. Thank you, Simon. We enjoyed another delicious snapper meal for my last meal on board with the Gypsy crew, at least for now. Next episode of Chuffed Adventures, we do a crew swap and I get on board car with Nika before making my way back to Chuffed and Costa Rica with an 80 pound life raft in tow. Until then, stay chuffed everybody and Merry Christmas.